What's going on guys? So today we're checking out three different EV charging options. And now what we're gonna be looking at here is compatibility, portability, and speed. So with that said, let's check them out. Now, first up, we have the J Plus Level 2 EV Charger. Now, this charger offers a charging experience that's seven times faster than standard outlets thanks to its 40 amps. Now, one thing that's awesome about this is that it's universally compatible with EVs like Tesla, Chevy, or BMW, as well as other power outlets because it has basically an adapter available for any type of outlet you could be looking for. Now, what sets the J Plus apart is its portability. It's got robust military-grade aluminum casing, and it's got a very, very flexible 25-foot cable. Now, it's also incredibly versatile, requiring zero installation, and comes with a NEMA 515 and a 1450 adapter. But again, as I mentioned, it's got a bunch of other adapters available, um, so you can basically find whichever one works best for you. Plus, it's IP67 rated for full water and dust protection. This thing is completely submersible. Now, all of that is able to be fit right into this awesome traveling case that it comes with. So once again, you get the powerful 40 amp charging ability, right, without the installation and all that kind of stuff. Tons of compatibility with all of its adapters and everything that comes in the package. Plus, you can just unplug it, throw it in this case, throw it in your car. So for those of you who travel, this one is really, really tough to beat. The other thing I really do like about the J Plus Booster is that it's got really, really nice, clear, very concise uh, little display right here, which makes it really easy to see what charging level you're at. Um, you can switch to the different modes so it kind of show you all the information. Plus, it's got all sorts of overcharge protections, heat protections, and everything. So regardless of what you're doing, how you're charging it, what it's plugged into, you know it's going to be safe for your vehicle. Next up, we have the DeWalt EV Charger. This is their 16 amp version. Now this unit speeds up charging up to four times faster than the standard options. It features a NEMA 620 plug and a 515 adapter for flexible charging options and also sports a 25 foot cable. However, I will mention that it is only IP66 waterproof and only has 16 amps of compatibility. The downside though here is that it's plastic construction and the connectors don't quite match the durability of the J Plus. So you just keep in mind, it's gonna get the job done just a little bit slower and a lot less durable. It does come with a nice little carrier pack and again it comes with the adapter as well it also has a really nice little uh you know kind of a power uh it shows you to get power ready charge uh fall things like that so it gives you a little bit of information when it comes to what's going on with your charging unit but overall it's a nice compact although slower option and our third option is the dewalt ev charger this is their 40 amp version as you can see quite a bit larger this one does compare as far as charging power to the j plus however there are some drawbacks now, as I mentioned, this does offer the 40 amps. Again, that's the beautiful thing here, right? Um, but it also has this kind of intelligent app control. So if you wanna have a little bit more granular information on your phone, uh, which does add a little bit complexity to something that's pretty straightforward, charging your, your EV vehicle should be pretty straightforward. Um, you do have the option to use the app here, which I think is also a pretty cool option. Now, what I will say is it matches the J Plus in amperage, but it does require a wall mounted unit to get that power. So again, it doesn't require it to be hardwired into the into a system uh, it does plug in but you do have to wall mount this kind of this whole unit here the problem with that is that your portability and you know just the size of this thing has completely just exploded it's, it's a massive piece of equipment from that perspective so again you to get the 40 amp ability you have to go much larger than the compact travel size that's where you kind of lose out a little bit on this one so guys, in the end, stacking all of these up together and kind of doing a quick comparison here, um, I think the, the clear winner, in my opinion, if you look at it from a compatibility, power, portability, and all those functionality together, the J Plus kind of comes pretty far out and ahead. Again, if you want that 40 amp charging, you're gonna have to go with a wall-mounted unit much, much larger, your portability is completely out the door, right? Uh, then if you want something that is going to be portable, you're gonna have to go with 16 amps. Now your power is much, much reduced, your charging ability is much reduced, um, and you've got something that you can take with you. The J Plus combines basically these two units into one unit, plus it's ultra, it's, it's more durable, it's designed to be more durable. Um, I found that the cables themselves, this one was much more flexible. Um, so when you have a 25 foot cable and you're trying to this unruly kind of cable, having it more flexible is also really nice. The fact that it comes in this nice kind of hard case that just makes it so simple for you to take, especially if you're somebody who travels long distances and wants to make sure that you have a charging solution with you at all times, I feel like the J Plus Booster is by far and away the best option here. Um, so there you have it. That's my breakdown. But guys, as usual, I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.